There are three audio cables that every wedding filmmaker needs, and if you have these cables, you are going to be prepared to plug into basically every single sound system out there at any wedding, no matter if it's a DJ soundboard, the soundboard at a wedding venue, or if you have to go plug into a closet in a basement of a Catholic church to find the sound system. With these three audio cables, you're going to be all set to record high quality audio. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you these three audio cables, but because I'm about saving you time and helping you be a faster and more efficient wedding filmmaker, I am so extremely excited to tell you that I've partnered with my friends at Condor Blue, and we have created the Who Is Matt audio pack. In this pack, you get all three of the audio cables you need, plus a super convenient carrying pouch, what? These cables are incredibly high quality with a lifetime warranty, and my goal when putting this pack together was to make sure that they are compatible with the widest variety of soundboards and audio recorders on the market. So regardless of what sound system you're plugging into or what audio recorder you own, you will be able to use these cables. If you don't want to stress about audio on a wedding day or have to overthink your audio cable setup, just get the Who's Matt audio pack, bring it to a wedding, and you're going to be ready to record. This is gonna save you so much time and you can buy the audio pack down below in the video description right now. So go check it out. You can pause the video, I will, I will happily wait. So go check it out. Now let's start by talking about these three cables that you're going to need when filming weddings, beginning with by far the most common, an XLR cable. Specifically, you're going to want one with a male and female connection because you're gonna use the female connection to plug into the soundboard and the male connection to plug into your audio recorder. In addition, you're ideally going to want one that is at least six feet long, which is the length of all of the cables in my cable pack. This is the perfect length in my opinion because if you plug into the DJ soundboard, you're not gonna have a ton of cable dangling off the side of their table cluttering up things. But more importantly, if you need to plug into the back of a speaker, having the cable be six feet can prevent you from needing to plug the cable in and then dangling your audio recorder precariously from the back of the speaker which I have definitely had to do before with shorter cables. Lastly, for an XLR cable, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your cable is balanced, meaning that it's capable of transmitting a cleaner audio signal and will not cause any interference with any of the other cables that may be present on the soundboard. More importantly too, a balanced cable is also going to help prevent your audio from receiving any unwanted noise or interference as well, which means that you will have cleaner audio. So it's really worth getting balanced audio cables, which is why these XLR cables and the cables we're about to talk about are balanced in my audio pack. Time for the next cable now. We're getting a bit fancier here. The second cable you're going to need to have ready to plug into any sound system is a quarter inch to male XLR cable. In this case, the male XLR cable, as before, is going to plug into your audio recorder, but with the quarter inch end of the cable, this is where things get a bit more interesting because this quarter inch cable is going to give you a lot more versatility. First, some DJ or church soundboards XLR outputs are going to be full, connecting to speakers, etc., meaning that you're not going to have a place to plug in a female XLR cable but there is oftentimes a quarter inch output on most soundboards that you can use instead. In addition, if you want the best possible audio quality that you can get for audio at the wedding reception or vows during the ceremony, etc., in that case, I recommend bypassing the DJ's soundboard completely and looking to the rear of the wireless microphone receiver because this receiver will usually have two outputs on the back, an XLR and a quarter inch output. And typically, a DJ is only going to be using the XLR output, leaving the quarter inch output free for you to plug into. So if you have a quarter inch to XLR cable, you can get a super clean feed directly from the microphone receiver into your audio recorder, preventing you from dealing with any issues from the soundboard where the gain levels could be set too loud or too quiet, or there could be other effects that could ruin the audio. Let me put it this way. I know that I said that an XLR to XLR cable is the most popular because pretty much every single soundboard is going to have it. But in terms of my preference as a wedding filmmaker, I'm going to go for a quarter inch to XLR cable and plug it into the back of the microphone receiver every single time if I can. Or heck, you could be fancy and do both, where you plug one cable into the back of the wireless microphone receiver and another into the soundboard for redundancy. If you buy my cable pack, you'll have all the cables that you need to do it and have backups, which are so important when filming. 
anything. Last cable now, and this is an incredibly important cable to have as well because you would be shocked by the amount of times that an XLR or quarter inch output are not available, especially on newer soundboards. Specifically, this third cable is an RCA to XLR male cable, and just like all of the other cables, the XLR male end is gonna plug into your audio recorder, but this RCA connection on the other end may be your saving grace if you have no other connection options available. On the soundboard, you're going to want to look for an output labeled record out, or sometimes on older soundboards, it'll be called tape out. Yes, literally like tape recording that you would see back in the 80s and 90s. Regardless, this record out or tape out is pretty much always going to be an RCA connection, and there's usually a red RCA output or a white RCA output, either of which you can plug your audio recorder into using this RCA to XLR cable. And one of the benefits of using this RCA output is that there's oftentimes a separate gain control knob that you can use to adjust how loud the audio is being transmitted just for your audio recorder. It's great. Now, as I said, there's usually a red and white RCA output, but in my cable pack, you're gonna notice that I've only included one RCA cable. And this may be slightly confusing, especially considering that if you look at RCA cables online, they oftentimes come as a stereo pair. So one can lead to the left channel of audio and the other one can lead to the right. But because I'm trying to make things as simple and easy for you to use as possible with this cable pack, I've only included one RCA to XLR cable. And with this cable, you can plug it into the red or white output. It doesn't matter. Why do you ask? Because whenever you're plugging into a soundboard at a wedding, you're not going to want the audio of the toasts or the ceremony to be recorded to two separate audio inputs as stereo on your audio recorder. You want them to be recorded as mono, which is gonna make editing much easier and enable you to have any audio of someone speaking at the wedding come out of both of your speakers at the same volume. So just know that it doesn't matter which RCA output you plug into on the soundboard, you can choose either red or white record out or tape out, and you can know that you're going to be recording high quality audio from the soundboard for your video. And those are the three cables that you need for wedding filmmaking. If you have a female XLR to male XLR, a quarter inch to male XLR, and an RCA to male XLR, you'll be prepared for pretty much any soundboard that you come across. And if you want to save time and get all of these cables in a super convenient carrying pouch so you do not have to wad up your cables and throw them into a Pelican case where they're all super disorganized, you know who you are if you do that, that used to be me as well, then I would love if you would check out the Who Is Matt audio pack that I've made in collaboration with Condor Blue. I am super proud of it, and I think that's gonna make your audio cable part of your wedding filmmaking even easier. I'll link down below to the Who Is Matt audio pack down below for you to purchase it. And while you're down there, if you have time, I would love to know if there are any other audio cables or variations that you would love to see me make with Condor Blue in the future. I have a lot of ideas, but I would love to make what you want. So please leave me a comment and let me know. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.